Hello my YouTube jerks, this is the Killer Nacho again, and I am ready to start my uh, newest playthrough, Pokemon Liquid Crystal, a ROM hack of Pokemon Fire Red, remake of Crystal. So, um, yeah, here's the little intro, it just, I don't think it changed from Fire Red, honestly. But whatever, this is Pokemon Liquid Crystal, by Link and Zelda, um, otherwise known as Laz. So let's get started. Alright, so, we already know this already, but they're going to show us anyway since it's Fire Red. I think it's built into the game, probably. Alright, so, after that, we get, um, Professor Oak. Well, that's a familiar face, isn't it? Well, now we're just going through the motions, telling me his name, what he does, he's a Pokemon professor. This land is inhabited by creatures named Pokemon. We don't know everything yet, but, you know, some people battle them, that's me. Alright, so, nice to meet you. Um, but I will tell you a little about myself, sure. My name is Zeal. Um, actually it's Tim, but I always call myself Zeal. It's a long habit, and I don't really feel like explaining where the name is from at the moment. I'm sure I've done it in the past. However, uh, let's just name myself and get this over with. So, uh, my name is Zeal. That is correct. Hooray! Am I ready? I suppose. Oh boy. So anyway, um, the reason I'm playing this game is because I played it, uh, by myself. I thought it was a very well done hack. Uh, Gen 2 is always my favorite, and um, this hack really uh, incorporates the new Gen 3. St well, I should say new, but I shouldn't say new since it's like um, pretty old, but there you go. Um, but it, it, it upgrades the game, and it's uh, very fun, so that's why I'm showing it off here in my channel. But anyway, so the professor kind of just guesses the time. Actually, um, they have it set up so they'll take a look at your clock on your computer. Don't really know how, but. Yeah, they do that somehow. But uh, that's cool. So I'm going to switch to uh, Type 3 Frame as um, as well as uh, go into uh, Fast Message Mode because I'm impatient. So anyway, um, yeah, I think the GBA did have an internal clock. That's how they're able to tell. But it's hooked up to my uh, computer, so it knows the time. Pretty spiffy. So now my mom is, of course, going to give me the Poke Gear. although the Poke Gear really isn't in Liquid Crystal. It's kind of just, um, I think it's what they call the, what's it, the VS, the VS Searcher in Fire Red. And she's going to tell me how to call people, even though I actually can't. I think he said he was going to actually put a functioning Poke Gear in a uh, later version of the hack. Um, I think uh, the only... There is another Crystal remake called Crystal Dust, but that's not completed yet, but that actually has a fully functional uh, Pokey gear, which is kind of cool. But that's because that's it's an Emerald uh, rip... <laughs> I didn't rip off. Emerald hack. But anyway, so let's visit Elm. Um, I got pushed around by that loser outside who's just going to steal a Pokemon later. Sorry, spoilers, but let's face it, we already know what's going to happen. So... He's getting an um, email from Mr. Pokemon saying, This time it's real, yo! So I guess we uh, better go check it out. He's going to give me a Pokemon. Um, and as most of you know, the uh, three starter Pokemon from Gen 2, Cinequil, Totodile, and Chikorita. And uh, my Crystal playthrough, I picked um, Totodile. Which one will I pick now? Hmm. Hmm, I will pick Cinequil. Um, I actually picked, I think... Um, Chikorita in my Soul Silver playthrough that I will never finish. Um, I will never finish it, of course, because um, I'm just going to go out and say it on a video because I keep answering this question. I'm not going to finish my Soul Silver playthrough because I lost the save file and I just don't feel like redoing it. Um, I really was actually planning to finish it, but can't. Save file gone. But anyway, my Cinequil is going to be named Burninator. I know, it's kind of like a play on Trogdor, but Trogdor is always going to be, like, my Charmander. But Cinequil can be a Burninator still, even though he's not a dragon. Alright, so, Elm's going to give me his phone number, even though I can't actually call him. But he'll call me, you know, when the game script calls for it. And, uh, yeah, here we go, a potion. Nice. Thank you very much, sir. So, let's, uh, just, uh, start out on our quest. Why not? So, here we go, Route 29. Um... The uh, remake music is very nice. I don't know if you guys can hear it that well, but um, it's very well done. The entire Liquid Crystal team did a great job. I'm playing at um, 1.5 times the speed like I normally do on YouTube, um, just for time saving. Actually, I hardly ever play Pokemon at the true speed anymore, except when I'm actually playing Wi-Fi battles. Um, but yeah, this looks like a good opportunity to get some first experience for my Burninator. Um, you'll notice that it is raining. Uh... The creator put real-time, I get not, well, 
Basically, it can have any weather on any route. There is actually built-in seasons, which because I probably will take my time on this playthrough, it'll probably be weekly, bi-weekly, you'll be able to actually see the seasons change as we go. Um, and depending on the season, you know, there'll be more or less weather. Um, right now it is spring, meaning there's going to be lots of rain. Actually, one of the complaints about Liquid Crystal is there's a lot of rain in general because the um, crater, Laz, uh, is from... Uh, I think England, and there apparently is a lot of rain there. So, that's life. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I do have an Orin Berry. Remember in uh, Gold, Silver, Crystal, your starter has a berry on it. Um, well, in this one, it's an Orin Berry, which is basically the same thing. So, the Pidgey's defeated, and now I'm leveled si uh, si uh, 6. And I'm learning Smokescreen. Smokescreen's a pretty nice move. Uh, lowers accuracy. Pretty useful. As far as lowering a stat of your opponent... Yeah. Anyway, so uh, I have a Rash Nature Cyntaquil, which I don't think is uh, so bad. I know Mixed Sweepers tend to use it sometimes. I think it's like plus special attack and um, decreases either special defense or um, defense. Can't remember which one it is, but either way, it's not terrible for Cyntaquil. So that's at least good. Anyway, so uh, this old man is going to show me around um, town, like he always does, and then give me the map card, which is you know, the town map. Um, so that's great. Thanks a lot, bro. And um, thank you for the map card. It'll come in handy, except not really, since I basically know this region like the back of my hand, although there is a few extra s secret surprises. Anyway, so welcome to the Pokemon Center. Um, I think this is the... I think the guy on the GBA right to the right, right I'm not going to talk to him yet. I uh, might do it later. Um, as you know, Mareep is not in Pokemon Crystal, but that guy will trade you a Mareep um, for a Poliwag. So if you do want a Mareep, I'm just going to mention it now. Uh, talk to that guy. He will trade you it for a Poliwag, which I believe you can actually get on this route up here. It's a uh, one of the rarer Pokemon. They did uh, change up some of the uh, wild encounter rates. Um, in Pokemon Liquid Crystal as compared to Crystal. Uh, I know that there are Hoenn Pokemon actually on every route as very rare. Uh, so you can actually get, I think, most of the Hoenn Pokemon in Liquid Crystals. And uh, they're very rare Pokemon to find. I think there's two on every route. But that's just an interesting side note. So there's an antidote. That'll come in handy because poison seems to be everywhere early game in Gen 2. So, um, yeah. So here's another battle that should be able to give my uh, Burninator some experience, a level 2 Spinarak, and of course it is raining, um, but that is life. So he's going to use Poison Sting, which seems to always poison me and never poison when I use it myself. Fortunately it did not poison me this time, but it probably will this time, but it does not! Oh yeah! So I'm going to be able to kill this level 2 Spinarak for like 0 EXP. Another note that uh, might be of interest is Liquid Crystal has the... Um, new experience system of black and white, so Pokemon of lower level tend to get more experience when they defeat a Pokemon of a higher level. It actually makes um, grinding and training lower level Pokemon a lot easier in Liquid Crystal. I mean, honestly, you don't even need to grind because you're going to get experience if you're underleveled more of it. So that's something I do like about that. Um, I'm just going to point out several of the Liquid Crystal things that might be of interest. So, um, because we pretty much already know what's happening here. He's giving me the Pokedex. Oh, man. Um, thank you, Mr. Pokemon, for the mysterious egg, and thank you, Mr. Oak, for the Pokedex. I'm sure it will come in handy, except not. All right, this person is depending on me. That is great. And I am getting a call from Professor Elm. It is a disaster. Just terrible. Oh, no. He wants me to get back there ASAP, but I am just going to ignore him and pick these berries. These Picha berries. And I think it uses the um, berry system of uh, Gen 3 Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald and the fact that you have to actually replant berries. But I'm not going to do that because I am not a good Samaritan. I'm just going to take the berries and leave. And here's another wild encounter with another Spinarak. Um, I really hate fighting these things because of their poison sting. Uh, same thing with Weedles. And unfortunately, I do not have a fire-type move yet. And, of course, now it poisons me. Well, I guess I can't complain. I survived two without getting poisoned, but still. I don't even know what the chance is of poison thing. I think it's like 10%, but it, it's so much higher when the opponent is using it. I'm going to check. Poison Sting, what is your chance of po It might be actually 30 now that I'm thinking about it. It might actually be a decent chance. Um, if it's 30, then I guess it's not so bad to get one out of three hits poisoning you. Alright, Bulbapedia is loading on the other screen. I have a dual monitor set up here. Um... 
has a 30% chance of poisoning. Okay, so I don't feel so bad about it anymore. Although it did make me burn a freaking antidote. Hopefully I can 2-it KO this Spinarak. Uh, it's gonna be a 3-it KO. But he's just going to use String Shot. Okay, man. That's cool, because you know what, String Shot? I think I might actually still be faster, because Spinarak has ridiculously low speed. And look, I am still faster. He's gonna continue String Shot. Although after 2, he might be faster now. But I don't know. Um, it's still raining, which kind of sucks if you're a fire type like me. I mean, obviously it doesn't suck right now, but later in the game when I actually get a fire type move, it's going to really suck playing in the spring because all my fire moves are going to be like, you know, doing reduced damage and all of my opponent's water moves are going to be doing more. So that's not fun to be a water type, at least not right now. Um, so anyway, here we go, back in Cherry Grove City, going to heal my Pokemon. Um, uh, thank you very much, Pokemon Center lady. And she will see me again. She wants to see me again. That is so rude. It's like, please get your Pokemon hurt so you can run on back here. What a jerk Pokemon Center lady. Oh no, it is the jerk who stole the Pokemon from the lab. I totally didn't see that one coming. In fact, I think in this game he actually like yells inside the Pokemon lab. I wasn't actually paying attention to the text, but he does. Um, who the hell was that, said Professor Elm. I guess that's not really a uh, G. Um, but, yeah. Anyway... Another thing you will notice about Pokemon Liquid Crystal is that the difficulty has been increased. Um, by the end of the game, by first playthrough, I had like level 90s. Um, and that's after the Kanto Quest and the extra content they put in after the Kanto Quest. They have there's a lot of content in this game. Um, but as I said, there is um, the difficulty has increased. You can see it here. The opponent's rival in the original Gold, Silver, Crystal has a Pokemon at level 5. This one is level 7, and you'll see in just, you know, going into the first um, random trainers. And holy crap, that critted me. Better use a potion. But as, I, as I'm as i saying, I'm just going to say it again. Difficulty in this game has increased. Um, so now that I have some smoke screens up on Totodile, hopefully he won't crit me again like that. I thought I lost there for a second, but there you go. My one hit point survive pretty epic. Alright, so hopefully this Totodile is going to be dead soon. And uh, rain continues to fall. Thank goodness it doesn't have a water type move yet. It has that crappy rage attack. I think, yeah, I think smoke green is infinitely better than rage, so I got the better end of that bargain. And now Burnator is level 8. And um, yes, I am very happy I won. Thanks for asking. Your name's question mark, question mark, question mark. That is a stupid name. I'm sure I'm going to rename you when I get back to the Pokemon lab. Which is always fun to do. He actually tells you, I think, in Crystal, his name is question mark, question mark, question mark. In fact, in my Crystal playthrough, I think that's what I named him. <laughs> but I'm actually going to give him a different name this time. I have a pretty good name for this guy. Alright, so, anyway, let's go back into the Pokemon Center. Or, sorry, Pokemon Laboratory. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. Getting some info from Pressure Elm, even though, you know, the, the subquest ends here and I'm never actually going to go after this guy. Basically is what's going on. But anyway, I'm going to name him Ginger, because that's what he is. He's a ginger. No one likes gingers. Sorry if you're a ginger, by the way. I have nothing against gingers. You just have no soul. It happens. It's not your fault. Anyway, so let's talk to Pressure Elm. Oh no, it is terrible. Here you go. The mystery egg. This? This is a Pokemon egg? No way! And Pressure Elm has never seen a Pokemon egg before. Yep. All Pokemon come from eggs. That's apparently true. In fact, it is... Well, except for, like, the legendaries that are, like, one of a kind, but... In general, Pokemon come from eggs, even the mammals. I guess they all have, like, reptili reptilian DNA to a point, but... Oh well. Technically, I guess mammals come from eggs, too, but not, like, the exterior kind. Anyway, I should probably talk to my mom before leaving. Um, in this game, she does... I don't think they figured out how to make her, like, save money like she does in Gold, Silver, Crystal. It's more like a hard-coded thing, so it's kind of hard for a ROM hack to do that. However, um, instead, they give you a nugget and the running shoes, so... I think that's even better, honestly, because I always was kind of annoyed at my mom buying stuff that I don't want. Um, in those games, so now she gives me two useful items because I can sell the nugget and the running shoes are probably my favorite item in Pokemon. Actually, I think it's my favorite addition in Gen 3. I think that's the one, one of the only, because you know, as you guys know, Gen 3 isn't my favorite generation. Um, but I think one of the major improvements of the game is is add the running shoes, and that will, that is key right there. Of course, at the same time, they also reduced the walking speed because the walking speed is faster in you know, red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, crystal. So they kind of had to, but. Anyway, this old man is going to show me how to catch a Weedle, even though Weedle doesn't... I don't believe Weedle appears on this route. Um, I think they didn't really figure out how to change that cutscene, so they just made that guy an old man and um, made him catch a Weedle still, even though, yeah, as I said, I don't think Weedles appear on this route. I might be wrong. Might be one of those rare drops they just snuck into this route. I don't know. 
a rare Pokemon. Anyway, so this is a Hoot Hoop. This is not what I want. I am going to catch a Pokemon, and if you are my fan, one of my many fans, um, you should probably know what I'm looking for. And if you don't, well, then I guess you just don't know me very well, or haven't been watching my videos long. But it's okay, you're about to know one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Actually, my second favorite Pokemon it is. Um, my favorite Pokemon is, of course, Magikarp, but behind the all-powerful god Magikarp, and let's face it, using a Magikarp in a Pokemon playthrough, just cheap. I mean, come on, guys, use something that's actually, you know, bad. And uh, You have to use fun Pokemon in a Pokemon playthrough, because it's not, like, competitive. I know Magikarp is a great, you know, Pokemon, especially in Ubers, but come on, guys. All right, so anyway, this is what I'm looking for, a Sentrit, my very own Dustbuster, and of course it's going to crit my Burninator, but you know what? That shows it, that shows me that it's worthy. It is worthy of being caught. This is a very lucky Dustbuster, and you know what? It's okay if you're lucky if you're cute, just like my Dustbusters. Anyway, so I'm just, let's use the Pokemon Ball. Sentrit is caught, and of course, you guys should know what I'm going to name it, even though it is a male one. Usually my Dustbusters are female, but... I guess that's just a matter of luck or something, but I'm just going to name it Dustbuster. This is my Dustbuster. Um, yeah. And, uh, there's not much else to say about that. I mean, come on, guys, I have to use Dustbuster. There's absolutely no excuse for me not to use a Dustbuster. They're just so useful and so awesome. Anyway, let's check out my Dustbuster. Since I'm already committed to this one, well, let's put it at the front first. And let's heal it, actually. I'm kind of curious about the nature, though. Even though I, I think it could have, like, a terrible nature, and I would still use it just because, let's face it, natures really don't matter too much in playthroughs. Um, let's take a look. Uh, it's a relaxed nature, which means it is, I think, minus speed, which is kind of kind of sucky. I think it's minus speed and plus one of the defenses. I think it's actually plus defense. But don't quote me on that, of course. Um, I might be wrong. And, um, yeah, here's a Pidgey who's a higher level, so I better get out of here. And that kind of actually sucks, having a negative speed nature and your Dust Busters and speed is kind of like one of its stronger stats, but you know what? I don't really care that much, guys. Um, I'm sure it's not going to come up very often. Anyway, so two tackles, that is a dead Pidgey, and um, yeah, as you yeah, you can uh, see right there that my Dust Buster gained more experience than my um, Cyntaquil. And one of the tricks I actually learned by playing Liquid Crystal is if you don't like the rain because it wastes time in battle, you can actually keep going in and out of houses until it clears up. Pro tip from the Killer Nacho right there. This is like prime tip right there. I mean, I am just telling. I'll, I'm now, I'll teach you all about this game, guys, because I have it mastered. I've played through this game like at least three times before playing it on YouTube. So, I mean, I, I've, I've learned some secret tips and stuff. Like, um, Thief. Thief in this game is broken. I will get to that, of course, when we get to Mahogany Town in, like, a few years, or probably a few months, but, um, yeah, Thief in this game is ridiculously good, because a lot of the added trainers and stuff have leftovers, and I, I just, like, farmed items that way. It's great. But, enough spoilers for now. This Rattata has me by the balls. Um, because it has, like, I have, like, no defense, and it's just going to quick attack me to death. And this kind of sucks, because that's a level 9 Rattata. See? Difficulty increased. I think this Rattata is, like, level 3 in Gold, Silver, Crystal. If that. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, the difficulty has been way raised. Please, Dustbush, you got to kill this thing. It's going to be stupid in this tail with me, because it probably could have 2 KO'd me anyway. Uh, yeah, man! Dustbuster being a beast. There we go. Leveled up to level 4, now level 5, thanks to the increased experience. See, this is why you don't really need to grind in Liquid Crystal, by the way. Because you get a lot of experience if you're lower level. Look, I just went from, what, level 3 to 6? That's awesome. I am now level 6, and now Dustbuster doesn't really need much help. It's awesome like that. Just won that battle for me. But let's heal up because I do not have revives at this point in the game. Meaning, uh, yeah, I would like my Cyndaquil to be, like, alive. Because, you know what, as cool as Dustbuster is, it's still only level 6. And the next trainer probably also has, like, level 9s and stuff. So that won't be cool. Okay, so this is a level 2 Sentrit. All right, Dustbuster, show him who the better Dustbuster is. And um, if you, in case you can't figure that out, it's mine. Because it's the other one's dead. And we get... Well, that is the downside to actually having the new EXP system, is um, your, um, the reduced experience of killing level 2s, making grinding actually harder. So, as I said, not much point to grind a Liquid Crystal, and you know what, I like that, because grinding is really, really lame and boring. 
it should really never exist in Pokemon. Alright, so it's going to tail whip me, meaning I'm probably going to have to switch out soon. Yeah, I'm going to switch out now because I really don't want minus two defense, especially since the Rattata is actually higher level still, so um, level eight Rattata this time, so it is one less. Um, but this guy won the first battle because he has another Pokemon. You'll see in a minute. So he's going to quick attack me, which um, doesn't actually do too much because I do not have the defense uh, drops because I did switch. Um, unfortunately, Rattatas are really annoying uh, early game just because their attack, you know, base attack is pretty darn good. And uh, their attacks are usually stronger than yours because they're all stabbed. Uh, being a normal type and tackle and quick attack, they're all normal moves. So just really annoying Pokemon, actually. So here comes a Weedle, and Weedle's another one of those Pokemon that love to spam Poison Sting and poison your entire team because they are lame. And this one's a level 9 Weedle, so another pretty high level Pokemon going to be spamming those uh, Poison Stings at me. And there we go, it poisoned me, lovely. Um, I guess I'll just keep scratching. Just keep scratching. What's that uh, Philadelphia Groundhog? Who always think it's a... never mind talking about advertisements for gambling. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, it's going to poison sting me some more, and uh, that's pretty bad. I hope it doesn't poison my Burninator too, because then both of my Pokemon will be poisoned. And it's going to String Shot me, lowering my speed. I don't know if it'll be faster after that, and it is, so that's kind of sad. Um, a good thing, though, it hasn't poisoned me yet. And I... Uh, oh! Ah! Knocking on wood right now. It's not going to poison me. And it does. Never mind. I shouldn't have knocked on wood. That's usually bad luck for me. Of course it's dead, so I guess the battle's over anyway. And I pretty much have to run Bolt back to town. Thanks a lot, Michael, for being a jerk. Um, yeah, this is a big ledge that you can still jump over. Dustbuster fainted. Actually, I don't really want to black out. <laughs> that would be really lame. I still have seven hit points, so I should be able to make it. One, two... Okay. Yeah, I made it easily. I just wanted to check to make sure, because if... My, both of my Pokemon die from fainting, I think I black out and lose half my money anyway. I'm not quite sure about that, but that would still be embarrassing. Alright, so let's head over to the Mart, because I just realized I do have that nugget to sell from earlier, and I probably should have done this beforehand. Uh, which gives me enough money to buy some potions, as well as, um, you know, antidotes, because, yeah, as you see, as you ah, as you've seen, Poison is a pretty lame thing, um, especially early games. I'm just going to buy some. Uh, they'll come in handy eventually. Same with thing with some paralyzed heals. Why not? Keep the rest of the money for now. And, um, yeah, I think that'll be it for my first um, episode. So rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll continue to watch. Tune in next week. Bye.